So we enter December and there will be a lot of sales on the Unity stores. In exactly a week there will be a New Year sale which will have thousands of assets 50% off. And to prepare you for that discount today I'll be showing you 7 of the most interesting assets you can download for your own project. This list is in a completely random order. And we'll start off with the number 1, Maneuver FPS Plus US AI. This asset has everything you need to start your own FPS game, from shooter AI to inventories to minimaps, zombie AIs, and everything easy to implement with a very detailed documentation of 35 pages. Also this asset is updated every month or so, so it has some very good updates. There are 5 power-ups you can pick up. There's recoil, weapon bobbing, and it is really easy to create zombie AI as well. Also, there is a cool demo scene to show you exactly how the zombie behavior works. Every asset I talk about is linked down in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Asset number 2 is, and I have to mention it, whatever game you're building and if you're building a low poly type style, Polygon assets should be your first choice. From their list of assets they have to the sheer amount of stuff they put in every asset make their assets worth the price. Synthi Studios have an insane amount of assets on the store so you can pick whatever fits your game the best. From city packs to apocalypse packs to medieval packs to military packs, if you're creating any type of game there's a probably a polygon pack for it. And guys, we're at 78 subscribers right now and I would love, love to reach 100 before the end of the year. So if you're not subscribed, please, please subscribe so we can reach that goal. Thank you so much for all of your love recently. And if you want to make yourself an RPG, I have an awesome asset for you. RPG Builder is one of the coolest assets I have seen. From a demo where they show you how to use the asset, you can have pets, you can shapeshift their abilities, you can add dialogues, stats, you can mine resources, you can craft. Also there is a spawner, combos and talent trees. If you can think of an RPG mechanic, this asset has it. Also, it is very very UI friendly, meaning you won't have to code any of it. So if this is your style, check out RPG Builder. Well, for our next asset, we all know what is the most tedious part of game development and that is making the AI work the way you want to. Well, with Emerald AI 3.0, you can create almost any AI behavior you can think of and very easily such as AI with guns, bosses, guards, villagers, thieves, bandits, creatures, animals, wildlife, zombies, companions and more. There's a built-in text system and scriptable abilities, switchable ranged and melee combat, you can add wildlife, there's a drop system and most importantly it is all well documented so you can follow everything you need using their documentation. In the next asset, did you know that the lightning can take how your game looks to a different level? And if you're creating a 2D game, Smart Lightning 2D is the asset for you. From a lot of shadow types to choose from to mask types, this asset can make your game look alive, giving it light that it deserves and it is also very mobile friendly and you can easily import it into your project. It can create reflections and it can create scary situations using this asset. And if you want to create a 2D platformer and you don't know where to start from, free platform game asset is completely free and there's a bunch of stuff you actually get. You get these cool different season scenes, character animations, level select, GY buttons in different color schemes, animated chests, coins, water and more. You can get all of this for absolutely free. So if you're in need to create a 2D platformer, I suggest you check out this asset. And the last asset I will show you today is Dungeon Architect. And in this asset you can create procedural dungeons in just a few clicks. There's a cool theme editor in which you can choose what type of designs your dungeon has. You can also update the entire themes to change how it looks completely. You can also very easily paint your layouts. This gives you more control over how you want your dungeons to look. There's also procedural terrains, 2D support, 
dynamic nav mesh, platform volumes and this asset is very huge if you want to create your own dungeons and use it in your game. And that was all the assets I wanted to show you today. Just remember, if you're using these assets, it doesn't mean that your game is gonna be bad. A lot of video game companies actually use already pre-made assets, so if you're on the edge whether you should use assets or not, I would highly suggest you use it, try it out, especially the free ones, just to see the, the power your game could have. Especially if you're a beginner, these assets can be a huge help. Even if it allows you to see how did they make all of that, don't be afraid of using these assets in your projects. There's a large number of assets which have the qualities to be in the next Steam games. And hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you can please leave a like and subscribe for more awesome stuff I will be creating a Christmas type game series soon and I will be uploading a new episode of the devlog. I was just so busy recently and yeah I'll see you in the next one.